Hey people, uh, today I'm going to be recording a small game that I learned to write in Python. I'll be using this uh, VS Code. Uh, let's get started. So, first we're going to be asking the user if he wants to play or not. So I'm going to ask a question. Uh, call it QU. Uh, Take an input from them. Do you want to play? Question mark and then a column and I'll leave a space for the answer and if uh, QU is equal equal to yes uh, we're gonna print a welcome statement welcome and if it is not else we're gonna quit this alright so now let's get on with the coding for the game itself so I'm gonna import random at this point I should have done it earlier but it doesn't matter you will know in a little while and then I'm gonna take a number for the top of the range I'll call it top we're gonna input from the user enter top range uh, yes, and then uh, we're gonna check if the number top is a digit or not. This digit is another function to check it, and if it is a digit, then we're gonna call top as the integer value of top. All right, and then we're gonna check uh, something else if top is smaller than or equal to zero. Then we're going to print to the user well, uh, choose a value zero next time, this time you're toast. Do it next time. Don't do it next time, in fact. And then I'm going to add an else statement that says print. Uh, if it is not a number, it should be a text. And if they put a text, we're going to say, uh, well, numbers, not, not texts, okay? That's for checking whether the number is an integer or not. And after that, we're going to start with the rest. I'll call it a random number, Ari. Use Ari and you dot Ari and D-I-N-T. Um, the range is going to be zero to up and then uh, what else we're gonna use a counter call it counter assign it to zero and uh, we'll run a loop to uh, allow the user to guess multiple times while it is true we're gonna define a variable called query uh, yeah it is okay for now uh, call it input uh, guess a number and then uh, we're gonna um, write counter variable plus equals one and then if uh, where uh, equals equals array we're gonna print correct and then we're going to break the loop but if not we're going to use elif to add uh, two more statements elif uh, query uh, is greater than array we're going to print a you are above you should be guessing below that number afterwards I'll show you where else we're gonna print R below. You should be guessing the number that is above this number. So that's it for now. What else? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we're gonna print the final statement. Uh, print you succeeded in. Uh, Let's say counter question number a t t m p t s 
issues. So let's run this code. Hope it works. Yep, it's running. I'm gonna say yes. We're gonna enter top of range. I'm gonna say 12. Guess a number. I'm gonna say 6. Uh, it says in line 24 here. Does we cannot uh, use this operator in between the instances of a string and a integer. So R A is definitely an integer, but Q U E this variable question it is not an integer. So one way to get around that is to uh, take whatever the number that the user guesses as an integer. So I'm gonna do it this way. Int um, close my bracket and then I'm gonna read on the program. Do you wanna play? I'm gonna say yes. All capital. It's not gonna work because uh, the thing we are checking against is a lower case of yes. So we can do it this way. Uh, lower, lower case, uh, whatever the input that we are getting from the user. But it has to be yes. Whatever the case be, it has to be yes. Then it's gonna work. Mm -mm -mm, let's check again. Uh, I'm gonna say yeah. Yes, it works. Our top of range is gonna be 12 again. I'm gonna guess somewhere in the middle. Six. You are below, so I'm gonna have to guess something above this number. I'm gonna say nine. I'm still below. Let's say uh, 11. Correct. So in the end, it gives me the sprint statement you succeeded in uh, counter is three number of attempts then choose to me so that should be the end of the program if you want you can take a screenshot it works try it on your own if you have anything to ask you can ask me in the comments i will definitely answer that's it have a good day